Hey everybody, I want to do a video today just to cover a topic that is really common around this time of year, which is depression and anxiety. Um, those are really common around this time of year for um, a few reasons. Obviously, without the sunlight and not being active, you know, people are dealing with some nutritional deficiencies, uh, lack of uh, exercise, some different things like that. The routines are different. Um, but there's also some other reasons that I'd like to cover today. And um, obviously, when we see this in our practice, uh, we like to educate people and tell them, you know, chiropractic can help with this too. And so instead of just doing a general video, I wanted to take some time today to actually get into the specifics as to why um, chiropractic care can help with depression and uh, how that happens physiologically within the body. So to start out, just so you understand how prevalent this is, um, there was a, um, some research done uh, by the Anxiety and Depression Association of America, um, and they said that uh, major depression is affecting somewhere around 5% of the population, and half of those people that are suffering from depression are also suffering from anxiety as well. Um, and then in one study uh, from the Journal of Upper Cervical Chiropractic Care, um, or research, uh, they studied a group of people, somewhere around 2,800 people, uh, a little over that. And uh, of that group, they reported that there were 76% of them that reported changes in their mental, emotional health um, for the positive. And uh, so we know that it's affecting these things, but how does that actually happen? Well, one of the reasons could be um, when we talk about chiropractic care, the most common association with chiropractic care is pain, pain relief. And uh, pain is something that we know um, is well documented that chronic pain sufferers are three to four times more likely to suffer from depression. And if you think about that, I mean, gosh, if you are in pain constantly, uh, you're not the person that you want to be. You're not able to do the things you want to do. You don't feel like yourself. Um, you don't have the patience with your family members or your coworkers. Um, just for, because of that reason, you're not even yourself anymore. You're just kind of trapped in your own body. And we see that a lot here where people just, they, they just are so um, just depressed just because they can't do anything. And so you can't even perform at your job the way you want to. So that's one sense. You know, when we remove those subluxations from people's spine and we're getting them in alignment, their pain's going down. And obviously that's one thing that's going to help immensely with depression is just being able to feel like yourself again and uh, be able to go and enjoy um, working hard, earning a living, but also enjoy doing the things you love with your family. And uh, obviously you're going to have more patience, your uh, energy levels are up, you're sleeping better. So those things all are going to affect um, people's emotional health. Um, but how does it happen um, in the body uh, where we actually can see the changes um, with their physiology and how it's affecting depression? Um, so the best way that I can uh, describe this is to use an analogy. And so when we talk about adjustments, we're affecting the nervous system because the spine is what's protecting all that neurology within your body. All the nerves that connect the brain to the organs and vice versa, everything that happens in your body is controlled by the nervous system. And so when we talk about the upper cervical area from about C3 up, this area up here within the bones of the spine in that area contains the brain stem. And uh, the brain stem is very important in uh, vital functions, um, but it also plays a huge role in hormone balances as well. And uh, what happens is when there's subluxations within the spine, and particularly up high from that C3, C2, and C1 area, um, it really puts your body on this stress mode or fight or flight mode. And so we like to call that um, the uh, limbic system. And so the limbic system is like more of the emotional center. Um, uh, more of like the irrational thought type of thing where you're in stress mode, um, time doesn't really matter, um, you know, it, it just kind of thought and reasoning kind of go out the window and you're just worried about getting out of that stress. So you're just worried about surviving, not really thriving. And so I use my hand as this analogy as we have the brain stem here and then my thumb is kind of like that limbic system. These four fingers up here are kind of like the prefrontal cortex. So remember that name, it's kind of a scientific nerdy term, but essentially the prefrontal cortex is responsible for keeping that lim limbic system in check. So when we're aligned right and the spine and the nerve system are functioning well, uh, we're able to have um, rational thought. This is um, really important, this system, the prefrontal cortex in 
um, immune system regulation, rational thinking, so you're able to kind of think through options and be goal-oriented and um, task management, that type of thing, where you're critically thinking and keeping yourself in check. And when we're subluxated, we put pressure on this brainstem area and it triggers that prefrontal cortex to be um, shut down. And so the limbic system kind of takes over that emotional brain and everything goes on overdrive. Uh, we're not really thinking about time in that moment. We're not thinking about things we have to do. We're really just irrational at that point. There's no sense in reasoning with a person that's dri um, driven by the limbic system. Um, so they're really not going to be very goal oriented either. Uh, so that's, that's one of those things where we have to be understanding of um, maybe that person is physiologically just not able to function in a rational way uh, because of the misalignments in their spine and their nerve system. So what we do is we find those areas that need to be realigned and once we make those adjustments to the spine, the prefrontal cortex can then function the way it's supposed to and keep our body in check and really just calm the body. And uh, this is part of that parasympathetic nervous system. And that parasympathetic nervous system is really in control of calming the body and bringing you back to a state of ease. So physiologically, when somebody is subluxated in their spine, that's something that chiropractors check for, they're not able to calm their body down. A lot of times they, they're just on overdrive all the time. They're not sleeping well. They're not digesting well. They don't have energy because it's all used up to handle all these emotional stressors. So add on the different things that you have in your lifestyle, work, money and finances, relationship stressors, um, death of a family member, um, things that are going on with COVID, all these different changes to our environments that are stressful. If we don't have that capacity to handle the stress from that prefrontal cortex and we're triggered and you're subluxated, you're not going to be able to adapt well. Your immune system is going to go down. So I want you guys to think about that. Think of the people in your life that maybe need to be checked by a chiropractor. And uh, come in. Come let us know, hey, I saw this video on Facebook. I'd like to maybe see if there's something that uh, we can do to help me de-stress and function better. Because ultimately that just not only affects you, it affects everybody around you. Uh, and it makes you a better person. It makes you able to do the things you want to do. Um, it makes you more enjoyable to be around. Trust me, when I'm subluxated and brain foggy and irritable, um, my wife will tell you I'm not as fun to be around. So um, she knows, and my family as well, they know when they're not feeling well, they're irritable or just brain foggy, we get adjusted, we clear that prefrontal cortex to function again, and it just allows our body to be at ease, and it really does. It takes away that, that tension and allows our body to function better, and we just, you feel good. So. Um, if this is something that resonates with, with you, please contact us, whether that's leaving us a message on Facebook um, or calling our office. We want to see if there's something we can do to help you.